So this is our first test with the new Drift Ghost XL Pro. So the settings I've got it on now is I've got it on 4K UHD 30 frames per second microphone sensitivity on number two filter on normal exposure on zero basically in the middle no changes uh, so this is just a standard 4k uhd 30 frames per second we haven't adjusted any of the filters so what i've decided to do if you can see i've brought the camera slightly forward and i've moved it up to the edge of the helmet and the reason being I wanted to bring the camera more around to the front so I've got more of a cross view, centre view of the bike. He said if it just been on the side pointing outward so there's only a side view. I brought it higher purely just because this new waterproof microphone connector sticks out quite a bit from the bottom of the camera. I don't want it catching my shoulder. Or ideally that would be perfect if that was a little right angled mic connector. It would keep it nice and a slim line then. Right then, let's go and test this out. So 4K UHD, I should get about four and a half hours out the battery. 1080, I'll get about six hours 50, seven hours out the battery. So I want to check, I wanted to try the camera today because it's bright sky. We've got the bright sun, so I wanted to see how the colours worked, how the exposure worked. Because I've not applied any filters. I want to check what the microphone's like, the quality of the microphone. I've had a little play in the house and already um, there's a big, a big difference with the audio on this XL Pro. I know there was a few issues with the XL, having uh, quite a lot of hissing noise and some static. But so far what I've heard on this is the audio is very good. I'm very impressed with it. But I hadn't tried it out on the bike in the wind. I only tried it in the house. And also I want to check I've got the the camera angle right. Because obviously I've moved the mount. So I want to say that I'm not catching too much sky or the camera's not too too far down. So this will be a good test. I think what we'll do, we'll try the little dual carriageway up here just to try um, some wind noise. What we'll do, we'll go up the back end of Clint up here because we're in and out of the trees so it'll be good to see from the the bright sky going into the dark shade of the trees. We'll see how the camera reacts there. See what the green's captured like. So this Ghost XL Pro has got the Sony chip. So it's got the 12 megapixel Sony chip, which you can take photos with the 12 megapixels. And the colour and the colour depth is it's amazing on this, but it's similar to the Ghost 4K camera, where the standard uh, Ghost XL iPhone was a bit washed out, the colours, and the exposure was a bit out. Yeah. So let's have a look what the quality is like looking at these branches, the blue sky. And what we'll do, we'll check on the phone to see if the angle's right. Sorry pal, come on your way. Yeah, it's all good. Oh no, he would. Enjoy your ride, pal. See you, mate. No blame you. Yeah. 
Yeah, but it'd be good to watch this footage back, see what it's like amongst these trees. Are we picking up the colour? Is the exposure working well? Because there is quite a few um, rapidly changing from sunlight to shadows. So four and a half hours of battery life at 4K UHD, 30 frames per second. That is ideal. What you can also do is you can open the bottom catch of the camera, it's right underneath the bottom, um, and you can put the USB-C charger into it. Obviously you won't be able to do that in the rain, because obviously the bottom of the camera will be exposed, it won't be waterproof, but this microphone connector is waterproof too. The camera's waterproof, IPX7. Dry days and long rides out. In the summer, are the dry. Should be fine to have that bottom match open. But four, four and a half hours on 4K is amazing. So this is the very first ride review of the Drift Ghost XL Pro. There we go. All done. Right. Let's see how that come out. Oosh. <laughs>